And to start off this beautiful day too, we have some blind versus blind action. I put in a limp with 7-4 off. First in a big blind just checks back. We go to a flop of ace, seven, eight, two spades. I decide to check. They check as well. The turn comes the seven of clubs. So just turn trips looking pretty good here. Kicker's a little bit weak though. Decide to put out a bet of 6,000. They then raise in position to 17,000. Not going to be going anywhere here. I do put in a call. The river comes the king of diamonds. I check. They bet 35,000. Pretty much snap call here. Not going anywhere with trips. And they said they have nine high. We take down our first pot of day two. And blinds have just gone up again. We're now at 4,000, 8,000. I get dealt jacks and hijack. I decide to make it 16,000 to go. Buying flats, everybody else folds. We go to a flop of ace, nine, three, rainbow. Very unfortunate spot for jacks here with the ace pairing. Bonus gonna have a lot of ace x suitors in his hand. Hopefully they don't this time. I decide to put in a check. They check back. The turn brings in the fourth diamonds. I once again check. They put out a bet of 26,000. Pretty much just gonna have to put in a call here. The river brings in the 10 of spades. They put out a bet of 55,000. And I go into the tank for a little bit, thinking about, yeah, what do they have here? Pretty much dead to an ace, unfortunately. But yeah, I'm just gonna have to try to call, see if they're bluffing. And I do call, and they show an unfortunate ace eight of spades. And unfortunately, day two just has not been going my way. I've been losing a lot of pots. We get double jack 10 suited in the big blind with only 10 big blinds remaining. Button opens to 20,000. Small blind puts in a three bet to 6,000. I decide to jam. Well, not really a jam here. I purposely leave one chip behind. So jamming roughly nine point. <laughs> nine big blinds here small blind calls not realizing that i did not go all in and we go to a flop of ace two king with two hearts no spades here start tanking for a little bit just to make sure i get this you know pay jump that is really incoming here and then after about 30 seconds or so just flick in my last chip they snap call of course and we're going to be up against ace nine off. We have to find a lady to keep this day two tournament going. Lady. Lady. And that is it. We are out. And 420. And I don't even smoke weed. <laughs> but yep, GG's. And there goes the official payout of $2,130. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. Uh, didn't really get much going today, unfortunately. Just gonna play a cash game now, so yep, GG's. And I've been playing at the win for a little bit now, but first interest in hand of the night, I get dealt ace nine suited in the small blind. Cut off opens to $25. I make it $80. Folds back around to them and they put in a call. Keep in mind, we are very deep here, over $1,000 effective. And we go to a flop of eight, six, seven rainbow. I put out a bet of $50. They immediately put in a call. Turn brings in the four of diamonds. So very interesting card here. A five is a straight. I do have ace nine suited in my hand. So I'm open ended to a straight as well as the nut flush here. I decide to put in the check here. My opponent decides to bet $225. And I'm thinking, 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 thinking. 
And eventually I decide to put in, yes, the semi-bluff here with a lot of equity. I check raise to $650. My opponent, for some reason, just can't believe it. And they go into the tank. When I mean the tank, the tank of all tanks. For one minute, for two minutes, they're shuffling their chips. For three minutes, asking me questions. How much chips I have? Blah, blah, blah. And after three minutes and a half, they finally muck their cards. And, you know me, I don't show. We take down a very big pot at the win. Very nice. And second and final hand for the night at the win. I get dealt ace-king suited in hijack. Under the gun plus one makes it 25 to go. Low jack puts in a call. I decide to put in the squeeze to $80. Folds back around to them and they both put in a call. We go to a flop of queen, 10, 10, rainbow. Low jack for some reason decides to just dunk $130 into me after under gun checks. I put in a call for $130 and under the gun decides to fold. So now we are heads up. And we go to the turn of the jack of hearts. We jack them. Pretty much have the nuts straight here. Not the nuts because we do lose the boat, but not too worried about that. They put in a check on the turn. I put out a bet of $405. They think for a little bit, but then they put in the call. The river comes pretty much brick, brick, brick. Five of diamonds. They check. I wait a little bit and then yeah we're gonna have an aunt jamama moment i am all in for roughly 1100 to 1200 dollars they tank for about a minute but eventually they do fold and we take down another pot very nice very nice And one of the first hands at Resorts Worlds, 2-5. I get dealt Queen-10 off on the button. I open up to $15. Small blind puts in the call and big blind folds. We go to a flop of King-10-2, two, two spades. They check. I bet $10. They check raise to $25. I put in a call. Go to a turn of the Jack of Clubs. Looking very nice. We're open-ended now with our lady. They continue on the turn with a bet of $35. Once again, not going anywhere. So we're going to put in a call. Go to a river, the four of spades. They are going to barrel one more time here. They put out a bet of $50. A little small wager on the river, I think, for a little bit. And yeah, I'm going to be turning my hand into a bluff here. Very sexy, very sexy. Decide to make it $175, 3.5x raise them. They go in the tank for a very long time, two to three minutes. Eventually, they do let go of their cards and i mock after the hand my opponent said that they had king or of diamonds so they did river to pier and they let it go and next hand i have ace four of diamonds and a low jack i make it 15 dollars to go i face a three bet by hijack for 50 dollars goes around back to me and i put in a call we go to a flop of ace, 10, 6, 2 spades. I check. They put out a bet of $40. I put in a call. Go to the turn of the six of diamonds. I check again. My opponent bets $100 this time. Not going anywhere. That's only roughly half of the pot. I'm going to put in another call here. The river comes the king. We got a river king here. So we do now chop with any ace. That's really important. 
I check, no more kicker problems here for me. But then my opponent puts out a pot size bet, and man, oh man, I'm in trouble here. Just don't really like that they're betting pot here. Um, just looks really, really strong here. I do go into the tank for a bit, but yeah, I decide to just lay this one down. Just they believe I just have better hands to call with. And a couple of hands later, I get dealt a shack off in the small blind. But it makes it $40 to go. Decided to put in a 3-bet here to $65. Big blind's pretty short here. They put in a cold call. Oh, oh man, could be in trouble. And then button comes along as well. And we only have a shack off. Let's hope we can hit something on this flop. Three-way action. We go to a flop of ace, two, five, two spades. I'm first to act and I bet $60. Big blind after a couple of seconds immediately jams $210. They're all in. Like I said, they were pretty short. Button thinks about it for a little bit, but does let it go. And I pretty much snap call. We have the run out. Such a good hand for the vlog too, but the Mac Oh, we got it all. Oh, such a good hand for the vlog. And we're on the button, and I look down and I see pocket nines. It folds around to me, and I open to fifteen dollars. Small blind puts in the call. Big blind squeezes massive to eighty-five dollars. I put in a call, and small blind folds. We go to a flop of six, four, seven, two clubs. We have the nine of clubs in my hand. It's really important. We put out a bet of $45. Really small bet here. Definitely going to be putting in a call. Turn brings in the seven of clubs. I will bring in some flushes. They check. I decided to check back this time. The river brings in the three of diamonds. They tank for a little bit, and then they announce to the deal that they're going to be all in for $297 on the dot. And I go into the tank for a bit. And we have some history here with this player. They just about five or six hands ago, four bet me with Jack four off and showed it. And also... They sent me a picture of myself at the table in the Discord that we're a part of, and I didn't recognize it was them. That plays a role in this table banter you're about to hear, so listen up. Charlie, did you just get here? Hmm? Did you just get here? Oh, I, I, I'm, I mean, probably end, I'm probably end up gonna call. I'm probably end up gonna call. Though. I'm probably end. I'm gonna only, I'm probably gonna end up calling because of the picture I saw in the Discord. What was the picture? The picture of, of me at the table in the Discord that I'm a part of. So, so this is either gonna let this is either gonna make you win three hundred dollars or lose three hundred dollars because of the picture. Oh yeah, I didn't want to tell you that I was Oh no, but somebody tagged it. No 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 the no, picture no, didn't it matter. Me who took a picture. Oh no no I know but yeah, I saw yeah. the picture in the Discord. It was funny. It made me laugh. That's, that's why, why I did it. But that's why it's like so it's either gonna make you three hundred right now or it's gonna make you lose three hundred so oh, you win. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I thought it was nine. Nothing, uh, yeah. Yeah. I think you were calling either way. I, I was I was I was thinking about it. And after all that table banter and after I call, my opponent does show King Queen offsuit with the King of Clubs. What a successful bluff catch. Love to see it. And a couple of hands after that, the table did break, so we had a new table here at Resorts World. Look down at Queen Nine suited in the big blind. Under the gun makes it $30. Button calls, and I call as well. Go to a flop of Jack, 10, 6, 2 clubs. Everybody checks around. The turn brings in the Jack of Hearts. I check. Under the gun puts out a bet of $50. Button folds, and I put in a call. Drawing pretty well here. The river brings in the 9 of spades. I check. My opponent bets $175 on the river. 
think about it for a bit and yeah I end up putting in the call unfortunately they turn over the nuts straight not the nuts for the board but it is the nuts straight yeah really rough really rough so we're gonna lose the spot and last hand for the session we wake up with the rockets pocket aces in the big blind big blind special let's get it under the gun opens to 15 cut off puts in a call i decide to three bet squeeze to 70 dollars under the gun calls and cut off folds go to a flop of 982 rainbow perfect flop for pocket aces ladies and gentlemen but on a bet of 80 dollars unfortunately they immediately muck their cards but hey at least we do take down the last pot of the night all right we just got up after that hand about to cash out for 1820 so a profit of 620 on a session ggs if you missed my day one vlog of the WPT Prime Championship, you can check it out right here.